There are a lot of beautiful things about Naruto Storm 4, a game that's been out for about seven years. We're going to be playing ranked fights here, a few of them, high level ranked fights. And these fights are from about eight or nine months ago. It's 2024. These months, these fights were from 2023. And I'm actually going to talk about how Naruto Storm 4 was a joke. So look at this. We're playing, we're fighting a pro player or a pro, a player with pro player type style where they dash stop and they put the, they do combo buffers, like see the Hashirama combo buffer or the buffered combo and the R support combo, which Straw Hat Central, uh, I believe, uh, termed a long time ago. He was one of the first people to do it and show it to the community many years ago, seven years ago. A lot of people don't know that. Anyways, this guy is really just annoying. And it's not the guy so much, right? Everyone gets like caught up on the, the, the negative ego aspect of it. But if you just watch my Sasuke, I'm basically barely able to do anything. And it's not because I'm a bad player. It's not because I'm not using the tech. See, he downloaded me there and and got my dash, uh, which normally isn't that easy to do, but it's easy to do when the connection is bad. And here I had another bad timing on my my counter. So he actually looks like a million times better than me, right? He looks like he's way more skilled. And this is because this is a lying blue bar. And it's not because he's just so good that I can't win. You're going to see three instances of this of three different players, okay? Where the same thing happens, where literally Naruto Storm 4 was a joke. Okay, so what am I getting at? Look, don't get triggered. It's true. And I'm actually factually telling you it's true. Is that I like to play in a different type of way, in a more meaningful type of way with two mans, especially in Storm 4. But that is extremely difficult to do with the connection being how it is. And this is more evident in Naruto Storm Connections, the newest game. Um, and I wasn't able to see it. I get it if you can't see it, but I wasn't even able to see it here about nine months ago when these fights happened. These were my my days of my peak Storm 4 gameplay. And I, so far, guys, I look horrible. I look like I have no clue what I'm doing. But if you guys have ever seen my Storm 4 gameplay, you know that this is not how I play. Look, look, I'm struggling to get any kind of priority. I'm getting countered every single time. I'm getting completely dumpstered and destroyed. I, my switches are really shaky. They're not smooth. Look at that. Whiffing air combos, right? And this is what I mean by Naruto Storm 4 was a joke. The online was a joke. The the player mentality of players thinking that um that they're better than they are. The look at that. I somehow came back by in this horrible leg, right? And there's still a lot of people that don't realize that. You know, if it's a blue bar, it doesn't mean that it's a good connection. You can literally just, like, forget that you see the blue bar. Just look, like, even go back and watch my Sasuke, right? I was doing nothing. Like, can you not see that the character is, like, my character is really not even, like, ported into the game properly? Like, I can't react. I'm not doing anything. There's other gameplay where it's, like, uh, this is what real skill looks like or something. And it's this Sasuke and Itachi, two-man team in connections. And it's just insanely better there's footsies there's real fighting look at that air tilt finally i got an air tilt going which was nice it looks like we're getting a little bit more frames here that i can do stuff like this i'm cutting into him but even there did you see the delay on that i actually moved in a way where that rasengan wouldn't hit me but because of the delay and because of the weird frame rate and the characters not being in, you know kind of ported into the game properly as i like to say and the, there's different instances of like hey i actually did a dash support entry but that like if you see me do that offline it's a million times different and a lot of times even in connections that dash doesn't even come out now and then i just die because the da first dash is supposed to come out and then it's supposed to switch and set up my next character i can't even do that see he did it there too right so this is like the pro style right it's part of the pro style i get it i tend to not do that too much and that was a ninja dash movement so he's he's got a lot of things here going for him in terms of the the way that people are supposed to play the game right but we are getting in here and it looks like we can't win right but we won we won the game we came back and it is what it is so let's look to the next fight so this is going to be a lot better but it's still really laggy but you can see here 
I actually am able to throw out my Amaterasu tilt. So this is actually my style going against a three-man meta style. So if you look, it's actually, he's using a meta team, right? Double Shinra Tensei, Nagato Pain with Inferno Fireball is one of the top meta teams, right? And when you make, now look at that. In, do you see the difference already? Where I countered and I completely predicted it and I got the counter off. I'm actually able to hit him with my Amaterasu tilt. <clears throat> what I noticed though, even with Hinata in this game and in Storm Connections, is you cannot play like this um, reliably and you cannot play like this consistently with this skill-based way. With And in this game, it's interesting, like Hinata's not an S-tier support in this game. She's really good, but because you can move around and you're not on rails, uh, you have to really set her up. Look at the double train track on Maturasu with the air pump. Dude, that is the patent Don't to Fear technique and style with this team and with these characters. I've been using it for a long time, and it's really, really good. It allows you to attack from an arm's length away and to be safe while attacking and at the same time, defending while attacking at the same time. Again, a perfect timer. So do you already see the difference? And look at that, Shidori entry into air pumps. Do you already see the difference where I was doing a bunch of stuff the last game, but nothing worked? So this is why I say Naruto Storm 4 was a joke. Do you understand from my perspective? Like when I'm trying to play this competitively and the game won't let you play it, it's horrible. It's horrible, horrible, horrible. It's disgusting. It's just, it's just so bad. This still happens in connections. Like it's interesting. There's a few people where this happens to us. Like I have a big different perspective now, even from my last video that just came out the same day or maybe even the day before, I have a very different perspective now on leaving matches and um, I'm prioritizing different things now because first of all, a lot of people are never going to even listen to you even if you're telling the truth. That's just what it is. A lot of people in society, they, um, they get deleted, right, from other people for telling the truth. And that's just been historically what humans did to each other. Because for some reason, you know, it's easier to convince the person of a lie than to convince them that they've been lied to, right? There's this type of psychological phenomenon going on um, where like, you know, are it's because like sometimes like, let's put it this way, a death, everyone has an ego, right? But do you have a healthy one or a not so healthy one? Because death of the ego also means death of the self right? Or deletion of the ego also means deletion of the self. So I kind of get that, especially when you're competing and things get heated. It's it's difficult because everyone, look at that. That was the most beautiful thing. I hope you guys are watching the second fight because this, this is crazy, dude. I wish I started with this. I might actually just go back and start with this because this is just such a good fight. Or I might redo this fight and like reframe it in a different way to show like some interesting things. Cause I was definitely heating up, but I want to tell you something. This is not even me going all out. This is just a better fight than the first one. I can do much, much, much better. This is actually like I countered that's three times. So that's really, if I'm not doing that to you in a fight four times, if I'm not doing that, then I'm not, I don't have frames and the game is just not playable. You know, I'm not, I might, might not do it every time, but I can do it a lot of the time and very accurately. So it's just a big reversal. Do you see the reversal where the first fight, every single thing was off and that time he got me. So I think we're like four for five, but that's good. Cause the thing that you don't under, the crazy thing about that one where he got me was I wanted him to get me. I was training him cause I wanted to get the sixth one. I'm doing something different. I'm actually doing something very different. I'm doing mental tasks at Towering Strategic Assault. Maybe one day I'll talk about that more in depth, but I don't know if I want to because I just don't know if I want to. But anyways, it's like, it's, well, you know, I have talked about it before. I'll talk about it in general. It's like mental traps becoming physical traps. You know, you're really playing a mind game in the strategy game and you're trying to figure out about the pressure, right? And you're, I'm trying to kind of... Storm 4 is very interesting. This was the beautiful thing about it, if you're still watching, right? The beautiful thing about it was is that if you had a real skill, like if you were really, really skilled, you could beat someone that wasn't skilled. Even if they were using broken tech or just relying on option selects and flowcharts, 
But at the same time, the level to get to that is almost almost impossible. Like it, it seems like it took me forever to get to that. And then even then, if you get a bad connection, you'll never win. The people that are doing what this guy's doing, the guys that are using the the broken teams, the meta teams, the meta characters, they will win over you. Okay, those people will win over you because they have leg resistance and leg they're leg proof so online the game is more competitive playing like that but offline the game is not really played like that at the highest level the game is played more how i'm playing at the highest level with real skill so it's up to you like if you can suffer for a long time right and you can work through the leg then that's good because then you'll get rewarded because you get a better feeling, a better experience and all that. But I find in connections, it's a little different. There's almost no way to wig, like to actually like defend yourself, right? There's actually, look at that. Did you see that? The tilt did not work. It went the wrong way and it didn't even attack him. So here's another example of the leg. This is yet a third example where this is what I'm saying. My tilt and certain moves, are my character and their moves are not porting into the game properly. Do you understand? Like that tilt should never do that. It should just actually hit him, but it went to the side like it wasn't even there. Like it, the tracking broke. That's another example of when it's laggy, right? And, and this is the thing that's a joke is how can we ever have a competitive game? Like how can I sit there and let this person get free BP that they didn't earn, right? Like that's my difference of perspective now is it's a, if it like despite what the other person thinks, I can't tell you, like, maybe one in 500 games or one in a thousand games, I'll leave in the middle of a match, which is almost never. Dude, like, what is going on? Like, why Like, why are you going that far when I'm leaving a match to say those kind of things, you know? And it's kind of crazy, dude. It's kind of crazy to see the toxicity in, in the community and how much of how much of the experience is a joke. Despite all that, I love the anime and I love the characters, but like if we're going like that and just getting so crazy that we've just lost our minds and we're calling each other every name in the book and we're trying to insult each other, no ma you know, and cut as deep as we can with the other person to degrade and put down the other person as much as possible for something that they're not even doing there's something that the game is doing there's something that the game is actually doing to us do you see what i'm saying like the game is doing that to us because of the net code and this is why if you ever see one day this might be all that's left of the channel in terms of naruto storm content unless they fix this net code because look like why did i get hit there it doesn't even make sense you know like there's lag spikes, there's inputs being eaten, there's all sorts of crazy stuff going on. And um, it's crazy, everyone's clout chasing, and everyone's just looking out for their own experience. No one is looking for the truth, no one's looking for, you know, the right experience, no one's looking for, can I get good, and can I, can I do better? And uh, can we have a meaningful fight with honor and all that? And I keep trying to look for it, and one in a hundred people, yes, they are. And I collect those people like Pokemon, dude. You got to catch them all because those are the real ones. Those are the ones you need to keep. Regardless of how they play, they have a soul and they they have good intentions. And they, if they do something bad, they try to make it better and they try to, to be good and to do good. But there's a lot of people that are just, you know, they think in their head that they're like the best minato player or the best whatever player and maybe they are really really good and really really skilled but they're nowhere near the best right and they think that they you know that actually happened to me where i had a minato mirror early on in the first couple months against another strong minato and this is guy was a guy that was a friend right this is the guy that called me the slur would that that also probably just doesn't understand things this is someone that i made banners for them on youtube that I did battle analysis for them before. And this is why I try not to do things for people that I don't know anymore. Before, I used to do things for everyone. If I didn't know you, I would do something nice. But people don't appreciate it, and they don't deserve to be treated nice, in my opinion, if you don't know them. If they're not going to reciprocate, and they're not going to, you know, actually care for you back, or show any kind of even small amount of respect back, you shouldn't just be nice and do stuff to people because they take advantage of you. And... Storm 4, the online rank experience in Storm 4, it was a joke looking back at it. 
Like this is not even 50% of my true power with this team. I will show you what it looks like to go all out with this team. It's like night and day. I hope you have a fantastic day and amazing day. If not, I hope it gets better for you soon.